a bag of goodies. What could be in this mysterious brown bag? Keep on watching and I'll tell you. Hi guys and welcome back to Make Up My World. Last weekend, my cousin surprised me with a little shopping excursion and I had no idea where we were going. I was just told to show up at her house and she was gonna be driving me someplace I'd never been before. So when we got there, I was really surprised to see she took me to a place that makes handmade all natural soaps and the place was called Soaptopia. And I thought, what a friggin' appropriate name for a place that makes all of their own bath products, all of their own bath salts, and all kinds of different products on premises. It's all handmade, it's all natural, and it's literally the kitchen for it is part of the store. So when I first went in there, there was just this amazing array, just piles of bath salts. And then I looked to the the right and then there was an entire shelf of skincare and I went around a corner and there was a whole table full of soaps and bath brushes and bath mitts and exfoliators and a whole shelf of different types of bath products whether they were body scrubs or body oils and then there were baker's racks and baker's racks full of soaps. I mean they were all handmade huge bars of soap that are completely all natural. And just to give you a little bit of background on this place, the owner of the shop, who wasn't there when we went, was actually in the film industry in advertising commercial sales or something like that. And she had huge allergy problems and really sensitive skin and decided to start making soaps and things that she could use at home that wouldn't aggravate her skin. And I have extremely sensitive skin, really bad allergies, so I'm always on the lookout for things that won't make me react, won't you know make me break out in hives or cause really bad red patches, uh, like breaks out, breakouts of rash and things like that. I'm always so afraid to try new bath products because I put baby oil on my skin and I broke out into a really severe rash and I didn't realize that the type that I used, my skin didn't like, it just completely reacted and I spent my birthday all itchy and scratchy. So I wanted to make sure going forward that I really took a look at what type of products I was putting on my skin and when I find things that are really good, I wanna share them with you guys. And this place is one of them. It's located in Mar Vista, California, so it's a local brand. It's kind of like one of those mom and pop shops, which I fully support. I really think that we should invest in those companies that are US based and that are homegrown and that aren't necessarily from big chains. Some of these places really are small and intimate and they make small batches of really great products on a large scale and this place is one of them they are really focused on using the most natural ingredients they don't use detergents they're completely based on oil based products or plant based products they use all natural aloe that they grow actually on premises they have different types of sands that they get from local areas that they actually in integrate into their soaps so that if you need an exfoliant it's a natural sand or sugar or whatever the case may be, you know, different types of honey that are available. They just really did their homework in trying to find really natural remedies that you know, people have been using for ages that we've all but forgotten because we're out to get the cheapest and you know, mass produced things that are at Target or Walmart or the grocery store. And yeah, they're cheap, but you go through them really super fast because of the stuff that they're made of. If you ever have tried an all natural or homemade bar soap, you'll notice that they actually last a lot longer because of the ingredients that they're made of. The thing that I really enjoyed about the shop is when I came in, you know, I was overwhelmed. I was sensory overload and everything just smelled amazing, but it wasn't like walking into Lush where you're just slammed with a wall of fragrance. It's an actually very subtle smelling shop. There's God, there were gobs of people in it when my cousin and I arrived and the two sales associates that were there were amazing. They just 
welcomed you in as if you were a friend visiting their apartment and they were really accommodating they just chit chatted us up any question we had they were right there for us if we need a suggestion on something they made themselves available I had told one of the sales associates that I have really super sensitive skin and she was giving me a recipe of how to make homemade detergent that wouldn't react with my skin that she does with baking soda and I was just really impressed I just felt so good about a place that focused on customer service for once but enough rambling about how great this place was it, it, I'm just really grateful that my cousin took me to a place that she knows I could really get some benefit out of and believe me this place was dangerous for me because I did end up with quite a few bars of soap. I think I probably got a good, you know, six months to a year's worth of soap here. So I ended up buying five bars of their handmade soap. And to be honest, the names of the soap are really what ended up getting me. I bought six total, but I ended up giving one to my cousin because she really, really wanted it. And she's one of those people who will put things down if she it's not in her budget or she got too many. So she's, you know, process of elimination, she'll put something away. So I picked it up and ended up buying it for her. But the names of the soaps are just so clever. This one is called Prickly Paradise and it is bergamot, peppermint and green tea. And it smells like pears. And it actually, when you feel it, it has a little bit of an oily texture so you know that this soap is going to be moisturizing but it's got a very clean almost citrusy scent to it and because I bought so many bars of soap I'm like great I'm gonna have to wait till I get through this bar of soap to be able to use one of the other ones and I don't have to the sales associate recommended that I keep the soap in the bag that it came in to store it and put it in the fridge so that the essential oils and everything else don't degrade over time and it keeps the bar's integrity. But at the same time, I can switch soaps by just simply cutting some off using a little mini bar of that scent and I can actually take multiple mini bars of all of the scents and use a different soap every day but I'm not actually wasting my entire bar I'm not letting it wither away in the stream of my shower it lasts for up to a year in the completely the same state that it started in so I'm really grateful that the sales associate kind of you know put my mind at ease and it, it really did allow me to buy a few more because of the fact that I knew that I wasn't gonna have to wait however long it takes you know a few weeks to get through a single bar of soap so that was the first bar I got. The second bar that I got is called Ocean's 12 and I love all of the Ocean's 11 movies so I really liked that and not to mention the fact that we're in California, Los Angeles, Hollywood area so I, I like that kind of nod to the, the movies. But this one is lemon, sea kelp, avocado, jojoba, cocoa nut, and macadamia nut. So this is going to be a super moisturizing bar of soap. This does have that little grainy bit of kind of like that nut shell in there and you know it's gonna go ahead and open up those pores, flake, you know, slough off that dead skin, leave back some of that kukui nut butter, some of the macadamia nut, that avocado that's really super, you know, that one of those good fats that put moisture back into your skin, and then lemon it's a natural disinfectant it's a natural brightener so I thought that was a good combination for somebody like me who not only has sensitive skin but has dry skin and with the winter months I kind of like to have something that exfoliates at the same time as cleans me so I thought this one would be a perfect option for that the next bar of soap I got is the lemon and ginger snap and let me tell you this is a super lemony bar of soap if you guys have ever had a lemon head candy that's what this bar of soap smells like it's so fresh and clean i actually want to go take a shower right now just to use this bar of soap it's the first one i picked up and i couldn't put it down and it has like a hand, little picture of a hand doing a snap so it's just basically lemon and ginger both of them are really good for your skin they're very brightening and it's just one of those <sighs> wake me up in the morning kind of soap so I'm definitely gonna be taking a sliver of this or more than likely the entire bar of soap in so this will probably be the full bar and then everything else will be a sliver of it because I want to give myself options the next bar of soap that I got is called skinny and it's skin e 
with New Zealand Manuka honey and it has vitamin E, Manuka honey, olive oil, lemon myrtle, and tea tree. So those again are all really natural options for skincare. Tea tree is really known for, you know, clearing up skin, warding off infections. Vitamin E obviously is going to nourish the skin. Manuka honey, same thing. And honey also has very strong disinfectant properties to it. So if you're breaking out or you have a tendency to have dull and you need some brightness to your skin, this would definitely be one of those bars for you. It has a lot of just skincare driven ingredients in it. And then on top of it, it smells great. It has that smell of creaminess, kind of like vanilla. I don't smell the honey like as a really bright note. It actually, to, to be honest, smells to me more like lemon and shea butter. It smells amazing. It, it just is a really clean smelling soap. And again, it has like a nice little layer on top. It almost looks like a lemon cake. So it has like a little light layer in that top right there that's so beautiful. And when you rub your finger on it, you actually can take some oil right off. And yeah, it's actually moisturizing just by touching it. So I guess if I wanted to, I could just rub it against a dry spot and relieve some dry skin. But it has just amazing texture to it. And it doesn't feel that soapiness, that really waxiness from soap. And I like that. So the final bar I got, I wanted to keep in the packaging so I can show you each and every one of the bars they pack individually. So you can give this away as a gift. You can go ahead and store them so they don't end up losing all of the oils that are contained in there. So you'll notice that on the packaging, it has the name of the store, where they're located, and they do have a website that offers all of their products on sale. So if you guys don't live in California, don't worry. Their products are available online. And when you have a little bag for each and every one of your soaps, it kind of just makes it a little bit special. You know, like when people go and wrap your stuff up in tissue paper and put it in a pretty bag. I like the fact that they take the minute to package individually each bar of soap for you and they don't just throw it into a bag and let you go. So the last bar of soap I got is LA Mint or La Mint. And it is literally lemon and mint. And you can see that mint layer right there. And then all of that goodness in the bar of soap right there. It smells amazing. It does have that little bit of like a pine solly scent because it is lemon and mint together. So you get that herbaceousness from the mint. It's just extremely clean smelling soap. And I wanted this one because I thought it looked pretty to be honest but two because I know that mint has skin calming properties to it and I have a lot of redness. So I wanted to give this a try to see if on those days that my skin is really hypersensitive or looking to break out, if I could use it to help calm the skin and kind of cool it down. So that's the last bar of soap that I got for myself. Like I said, the salespeople in the store were super helpful and then when we told them that there were so many different options that we were really overwhelmed and we had already picked up like five bars of soap each, they were so accommodating and they actually gave me an entire bag of samples. So they went and took slivers off of a bunch of different soaps there and gave us a stack of samples to go through. Some of them are rose smelling, some of them are more like eucalyptus and mint, and another one is very floral smelling. So we were able to go away with four additional soap samples just because we couldn't decide and they wanted to give us the option of trying a couple more out. So if we wanted to come back and buy the full size bar, we could. I really appreciate it when stores offer that kind of sampling. So. You don't have to commit and buy a full bar of something if you may not like it or if you're not sure about it. So I was really appreciative that they, they did this for us. So each bar of soap costs $6.50. And to be honest, a lot of people would just balk at that and be like, wow, that's expensive. But if you think about it, it's a dollar an ounce for soap. If you go out to the store, you can get a bar of soap for like two, three dollars. This one, I guarantee you, will last longer than those bar of soaps because they are just made to melt away and this one is not. So if you guys would like to give their soaps a try, I will link off the website down below so you guys can check out what they have. 
Again, they do have things like skincare and bath salts, bath scrubs, home products like candles. They're all homemade and they're all made on the premises and packaged on the premises. And they actually do hand cut all of their soaps so they don't end up putting it through machines and having the soaps just degrade going through the hot metal. They wanted to keep the integrity of the soap so they still do all of these all of this stuff by hand. I did end up getting a couple of non-soap items. This one is the body oil by Zootopia and it's eucalyptus and tea tree oil and I just really wanted it for the healing properties. Eucalyptus is very calming and tea tree is a disinfecting ingredient so I thought this would be perfect for my type of skin. And then the other item that I got in the store which I thought was super cute, they had an entire display of these headbands that have like the little tie on the bottom and there were different fabrics and I ended up choosing this one because I thought this would go with a lot of different outfits because of the colorways and then inside of it it's got a built-in headband it's one of those comfort bands and so the scarf is uh, really literally sewn around the headband and I thought that this is just so adorable and I like that the lit it has a little tail at the bottom here let me go ahead and just untie this so I can show you guys so it does open up right there at the bottom and if I wanted to put it on I mean I have a button in my hair so it's not gonna get very far but if I put it on there tied at the back it's just way cute it's kind of got that retro vibe to it very cute I just think it's so adorable and it's super comfortable on. I like that it's not one of those just, you know, fabric headbands because I have super slick hair. So when I tie, if it was just fabric without the plastic bit inside, it slipped right off my head. It would end up right around my bun, completely loose because nothing stays in my hair unless I pin it or anchor it down in some way. And because it has that band inside with the little comby teeth in it, it's staying. It's not moving anywhere. So. I really, really do like this and I will probably end up going back there and picking up a couple of more. So those are my Soaptopia purchases. I am super grateful again to my cousin for taking me, for finding this place and taking me. We actually ended up having a great shopping day. A farmer's market was open down the street. The, the whole street that this place is located on is just amazing. There's a record store, there's a tattoo shop, there's a doggy bakery, there's a vintage store. It's just if you ever go down Venice Boulevard in Mar Vista, it's an amazing neighborhood and it's just got a great number of really cute mom and pop, homegrown kind of shops. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, I went on a Sunday morning. They were having the farmer's market. I ended up going out with a pie. Not great for my diet, but hey. And I just had the best morning with my cousins. I'm really grateful that she loves me enough to take me and find places like this that she knows that I would be so jazzed about. So thank you much, Po. And I just really wanted to bring this to you guys because I know how difficult it is for me to find really good all natural products. Um, even those things at Lush, I know Lush is really geared towards natural, but even they have started using detergents and synthetics in their products that they didn't use originally when they first came out. So I don't always use their products because my skin is starting to react to some of them. And I am, you know, kind of bummed about that, but at the same time, it's nice to find alternatives to that as well. And you guys can also make these kind of things at home if you know what ingredients are good for your skin. So do a little bit of research. It does pay to figure out what products out there and what ingredients out there agree with your skin and make it feel better and then you can actually create your own soaps or go to a place like this where you know what ingredients work for you and you can find those soaps that really do complement your skincare routine your skincare regimen and your body and your skin because remember you guys your skin is the largest organ in your body and you should take care of it again I'm going to leave all of the information down below for the store, their website, check out their skincare and all of that. You can read the bio 
on the owner and all of the store keepers and associates they have all of their information on the website it's a really cute place if you guys are local it's a cool place to check out I'm not being endorsed by them I don't have any ties to them I bought all of this stuff myself I ended up walking out of there with six bars of soap a headband and body oil and I kept it well under a hundred dollars which I would not have done at Lush so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to keep bringing you new stores and new places, even possibly new websites in the coming year so that you guys can open up your minds and open up the variety of places that you shop at. So if there's places that you guys know of that you'd like to share with other people, leave in the comments below. I really want this community to you know, exchange information, give me some suggestions. I'll give you guys some suggestions. I really want us to be able to get closer and really share the tips and tricks that we know works good for us that may actually work good for somebody else. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd really appreciate if you check out some of my other videos or subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. Leave a comment with what soap you'd like to try or another shop you guys would recommend that I shop at. As always, I hope you guys are kind to one another, be kind to yourselves, and don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. And don't forget to visit my website, MakeUpMyWorld.com, for more details on me and the products reviewed here today. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.